Hello and welcome to the Cryptocurrency News Channel. In what may be a slap in the face to Ripple, MoneyGram, their big partner of 2019, which dropped them because of the SEC lawsuit, has now partnered with their competitor, Stellar, and they're going to use USDC for blockchain-based payments. So that's why Stellar's way up. Before you get overjoyed as an XLM holder, they're not actually using XLM to settle payments. They're using the blockchain and they are actually settling in USDC, which is a stable coin. Now, obviously, Ripple being in a lawsuit uh, definitely makes them choose Stellar. But even if they weren't in the lawsuit, they might choose Stellar anyways for this because they want a stable coin settlement. One of the complaints about using XRP was the volatility, which I don't think was a huge issue. But because the transactions only took like, you know, a couple of seconds or a couple of minutes or whatever. But uh, with stable coins, they're stable, and especially with USDC, they are actually, um, they're basically completely backed. And yes, there is an ongoing investigation against Circle, but that's actually not against USDC. That's actually against like Circle's yield product or something like that. It doesn't really have much to do with USDC. I'm not really sure if USDC is a security or not. I suppose they'll comment on that later. But USDC is backed by Circle, fully backed, and it has actually been third-party audited, unlike Tether. So they wanted a stablecoin for this. So even if Ripple wasn't in the lawsuit, they might have partnered with Stellar anyways. And here's the reason why. So you want a stablecoin because there's no volatility. You're not going to use Tether because Tether has a myriad of issues why you wouldn't actually use Tether. We don't really know if it's fully back, yada, yada, yada. And there's much less risk in actually just using USDC, which is third-party audited and we know is fully backed and probably going to be fully regulated very soon. So with USDC, you have a couple of different networks to choose from. You're not gonna use Ethereum because it's too slow and the fees are uh, way too high. Tron, you're just not gonna use Tron for this kind of stuff. I don't think anyone really trusts Tron for this kind of stuff. And the other networks, like there is Solana, they could have used that, but I think it's too new and they want something else. So Stellar was really the only option. Um, USDC does run on like five networks, but if you just weed out Tron and Ethereum, Stellar is really the only one right now that you would actually use. I think like if this was three years from now, they might actually choose Solana. Um, Solana is like pretty centralized by the way. So really USDC and Algorand I think is like too new. So USDC is, uh, if you want to use USDC, I think Stellar is really the only path to go. So it actually makes a lot of sense. They actually would choose Stellar. They, they are probably the best option. Obviously, this puts Stellar in a good spot, and some might actually see this as a slap in the face to Ripple, but I personally don't think so because they might have done this regardless of the lawsuit anyways because there is no USDC or stablecoin um, that I know of that actually exists on the XRP ledger, so they didn't really have that as an option. Now, would, a Ripple, would Ripple have actually made one if they weren't in the lawsuit? Possibly, but we could only speculate. They didn't really have one before the lawsuit actually came along either, so you really can't say that. MoneyGram CEO obviously um, is making the best of this and saying it opens up a whole myriad of activities to have like um, kind of like FX payments. But however, the thing is, you know that Ripple partnered with MoneyGram and MoneyGram was partnering with Ripple only really because Ripple was paying them millions of dollars in XRP per quarter. Is Stellar doing the same thing? I'm not really sure. We I don't really have terms of the deal. Um, they're not actually using XRP to settle. They're using USDC to settle. So it's a little different from the Ripple deal because with the Ripple deal, they were actually using XRP to settle with ODL. Whereas with this, they're actually using USDC. So I'm not really sure if they're going to have to fund them because I think USDC just has more liquidity. Like stable coins generally have more liquidity than, other, than um, other areas. So the payment really wouldn't make sense unless like Stellar's outright bribing them to actually use their blockchain, which honestly wouldn't make too much sense either because not they're not directly using um, XLM. So you can see that like some of these remittance services have moved on to thinking using stable coins is actually better than using a crypto. Maybe that'll work out for them. Maybe they uh, that won't. But using USDC that does allow like uh, consumers to have on and off ramps everywhere. Um, and MoneyGram obviously helps with that as well. So if, you have, if you're a part of XLM, part of that fan club, this is really good news for you. If you're part of XRP, it's not bad. It's not good news for you, but it's not horrific news for you because it didn't really affect XRP's price all that much. But XLM is gaining some notoriety and this people people are talking about this crypto. So pretty cool uh, if you're XLM and definitely something you should keep track of. XLM might actually be hot in the last leg of the bull run might have taken some of the thunder from XRP. So that is the news for today. Let me know what you think. Like and subscribe and hit that bell notifications button. Thank you and have a nice day.